Can you use the Apple AirTag or the Tile Tracker to track somebody's car? It certainly seems to be that way when you see all these headlines. So I set up an experiment to find out. In this car, I'm placing the AirTag and the Tile Tracker, and then I'm gonna send them on their way. Now that nervous laughter is because the hardest part of this test is that they have to drive without their phones being on. Android phone and an iPhone are both switched off. Now in this car, I've actually got a low jack GPS tracking system, which is gonna give me the most accurate information of exactly where they are. We're gonna use that to compare it to any updates that we get from either the Tile or the Apple AirTag. And with that in mind, let the test begin. On the left hand side, you have the Tile Tracker. On the right hand side, you have the Apple AirTag. And of course, I marked them both as lost. And now we just wait for that notification. Let me just speed this up so that you don't have to watch it until something comes in. Oh, hold on. There we go. Already 3.31. The first notification has come in on the Apple AirTag. It's been updated. That was super, super quick. Did not expect it at all. Now looking at the tile tracker, uh, it's still in lost mode and still no update. Let's quickly check the GPS location. Let's refresh that. And okay, it actually says they're in Campbell Road. So not quite where the AirTag says, but at least we have an update from it. Right, 3.32, let's go check back on the tile and the AirTag tracker and no update has been received. And we're gonna check back with the GPS tracker. And as you know, you can travel pretty far if you are driving in your car at 30 or 35 miles per hour. Right, let's go back to our tracking system. So far, not so useful, any updates? There we go, 3.35, a second update from the Apple AirTag somewhere in that vicinity of that particular circle. But the uh, tile tracker is still zero updates. Let's fast forward until we get our next update and see which one's gonna give us anything. Right, 3.38, two minutes later, we have another update from the Apple AirTag, this time a little bit more precise than that circle. Tile tracker, man, zero updates still. And if 3.40, now we can see, you can really zoom in and they obviously must have pulled over to park somewhere because now we have a real accurate location. Tile tracker, uh, no go. Now, the reason they're driving around with their phone switched off so that there are no advantages with the phones being active in the car. They also don't have any Apple Watches or any other smart devices with them. We are purely relying on the system working when the tags are in close proximity to an iPhone or to an Android phone who will relay the location of the tag anonymously. The only thing they know is that their instructions are to keep their phones off and then after 10 minutes, switch it on and then to read their next task. So let's check back with our drivers and on to test number two. Um, it's been about 10 minutes, so we're gonna pull over now and check my phone. Okay, our next instruction is to drive to a busy parking lot and sit there for five minutes and have the phone switched off. After five minutes, switch the phone back on and then look for the next instruction. Okay, busy parking lot. Where would be a busy parking lot? How about Target? Target. That's good. Let's go to Target. So we've made it to the busy parking lot. Ariel, if you can text and say that we are here and then switch off your phone for about five minutes. We made it to Target. Okay, I'm gonna switch off the phone. Right, I got the text, they're at the parking lot and of course they've gone to Target. I mean, where else would they go? Apple AirTag has been updated, pretty accurate on the Apple AirTag side. But once again, the tile tracker has got an update on Coit Road, but not anywhere near that Target. Now, since they're not moving, I'm gonna fast forward to this five minute period and see if I'm gonna get any updates from the tile tracker. Right, 418, no changes. 419, no changes. 420, still no changes. 421, no changes. Five minutes in the parking lot at Target and not a single update from the tile mm -hmm. tracker. I guess it's on to test number three we go. So we're gonna switch the phone back on and see what he said. Okay, so we are done with the experiment and we can head back. Now, in my last instruction, I didn't tell them to switch off their phones as they drive back. 
I want to see if there are any difference in how often the trackers update if there are phones actively on in the car. Will it use those phones to relay their positions? 531, let's see if we're going to see any difference now that the phones are on. And look at that, immediately, 531, first notification for the tile saying it's been updated with its new location. Nothing from the Apple AirTag, it looks like it's still parked in the Target parking lot. Let's fast forward a little bit until our next notification, which comes in at 5.34. And that's the AirTag has got a new update for its location. The tile tracker, well, that's still with the old notification and nothing further. All right, let's fast forward to our next notification. And that comes in at 5.36, where the Apple AirTag has been updated once again. And <clears throat> once again, the tile tracker is still stuck on the original notification. And a minute later at 5.37, we get yet another update from the Apple AirTag. I'm assuming it's using the iPhone that's in the car to give us a better update of its location. But the Android is not doing anything at the moment. Let's just keep an eye on that before we fast forward. Oh, look, same 5.37, another update has just come in on the Apple AirTag. Let's wait for the full five minutes to see if there's any more updates. So that's 5.38, no more updates. 5.39, no more updates. 5.40, no more updates. One thing that's curious is why did the Apple AirTag stop broadcasting its location? I mean, the iPhone is still on in the car. So what's going on? Okay, besides stressing them out about having to drive around ah, without their phones on, which was pretty funny, there are a couple of things we need to note here. Firstly, the Apple AirTag is clearly the winner as far as tracking is concerned. Whilst it certainly didn't give us an accurate information in real time like the GPS tracker did, it did update whilst they were driving. It also did a great job at identifying the location when they were parked in both the coffee shop and the Target parking lot. So why did the tile tracker suck? You would think it didn't update because it's an Android thing and statistically in the US there are more iPhones users. This is not the case. The Tile app works on both Android and iPhones. So technically it should have a much bigger network versus the Apple AirTag that only works with iPhones. But there is a catch with the Tile. In order for you to get the location of the tile that you mark as lost, it needs somebody to be within range of that tire. Plus, they also need to have the tile app installed on their phone. So, even if the tag is surrounded by iPhones and Android phones and not a single one has the tile app installed, the tile is not getting found. When it comes to tracking a moving car, the odds of having someone with the app installed driving by a tile that was marked as lost, the odds are greatly reduced. Whereas with the AirTag, it just needs an iPhone to be near it as the iPhones are mostly part of the Find My network, which means they will relay that information of that lost AirTag's location. And that was super smart of Apple to do. Now, would these results be any different if we ran them in a country where Android is more prominent than an iPhone? Perhaps, but it would still require the app to be installed on those Android phones, so it's not an automatic yes. And if we now go back to those headlines, how did those people actually track their car with an AirTag? North Long Beach man surprises car thieves after finding a stolen BMW with an AirTag. Sounds great, but then let's scroll further down and let's see where the car was actually tracked to. Uh, so we can see, spotted it by a gas station. So the car was stationary. Right, next headlines. AirTag helps Las Vegas man find stolen car and pursue suspect. Where was this car found? Was it whilst driving? No, it pinged at a home near Nellis Air Force Base across town. The car was tracked when it was stationary, when it was parked. And just to be clear, there is a real danger of a stalker or thieves using the Apple AirTag or the tile tracker to track their victims. So definitely be aware of any rogue trackers that are around you. And if you do find one, do not drive home. Drive to your local police station and let them handle it. Now, I will say when it comes to tracking your lost luggage at an airport, both the AirTag and the tile work really well. 
I personally have had my luggage lost uh, three times by the airlines and in all three cases I could tell the airlines exactly where the bags were. However, when it comes to tracking a car, both suck for real-time tracking. But I will say that the AirTag will do a better job at tracking the car when it is parked. So now that we know that you cannot really track someone's location accurately with these trackers, what about tracking their location when you have their cell phone numbers or an IMEI number? Hmm, check that on out right over here. Give the video a quick thumbs up before you head out and I'm gonna see you in this video. Let's go.